So community engagement in CFA isn't new. Our members are already highly trusted and respected and our organisation is recognised as an integral part of many Victorian communities. In our mission of protecting lives and property, our members recognise that engagement is already at the heart of everything we do. Many people who work in community engagement, regardless of the context, they often refer to this spectrum of engagement. And this essentially means that as we increase our efforts and deepen our level of engagement with community, we start to see more sustainable results where communities become more engaged, more involved and more empowered to make decisions for themselves, planning and taking action to improve their preparedness and safety. This requires public participation and requires time, effort and a commitment from agencies to a longer term view of supporting communities to be safer and more resilient to fire and other emergencies. As we in CFA move towards a more participatory way of working, we can leverage off some key proven public participation principles in our delivery of services into the future. Inclusiveness, that is, taking into account the diverse needs of communities to be able to engage in more meaningful ways. Open and understanding of community views, sharing information in ways that help the community to be more informed and work more collaboratively. Responsive, encouraging and responding to community contributions. Transparency and being honest with the community about what we can and can't do and asking for feedback on the results of our activities. Accountable, that is being clear on what we hope to achieve and measuring and monitoring the effectiveness of our work. And finally, having awareness of all of the factors that should shape our approach to community engagement. So learning from good practice, using an evidence base to inform future activities, applying legislation and policy to our plans, and not being afraid to try new things.